The Canada Real Dolmen, located in the province of Huelva in southern Spain, has long been a subject of fascination for archaeologists and historians. Believed to have been constructed during the Neolithic period, the dolmen is a megalithic tomb that features a large chamber made up of massive stone slabs. Recently, a team of researchers conducted a study of the dolmen and made a surprising discovery, the existence of other underground structures in the area. The study, which was published in the journal Archaeological Prospection, utilized a non-invasive technique known as Electrical Resistivity Tomography ERT, to create a 3D model of the subsurface around the dolmen. ERT involves sending electrical currents into the ground and measuring the resulting voltage in order to create an image of the subsurface structures. The technique is particularly useful for studying archaeological sites, as it allows researchers to see what lies beneath the surface without the need for excavation. The researchers found that there are at least three other underground structures in the vicinity of the dolmen. These structures are believed to be part of a larger complex that was used for religious or ceremonial purposes during the Neolithic period. The structures are located within a 150-meter radius of the dolmen and are thought to be connected by a network of tunnels. One of the structures is a large circular chamber that is approximately 20 meters in diameter. The chamber is made up of stone blocks and features a central pillar that may have served a ritualistic purpose. The researchers believe that this chamber was used for communal gatherings or ceremonies. Another structure is a rectangular chamber that is approximately 10 meters long and 5 meters wide. This chamber is also made up of stone blocks and features a series of niches that may have held offerings or other ritual objects. The researchers believe that this chamber was used for more private or intimate ceremonies. The third structure is a tunnel that connects the circular chamber to the rectangular chamber. The tunnel is approximately 30 meters long and is thought to have been used for processions or other ritualistic purposes. The discovery of these structures sheds new light on the Neolithic period in the region and suggests that the Canada Real Dolmen was part of a larger complex that played an important role in the religious and ceremonial life of the people who lived there. The dolmen itself may have served as a tomb for a prominent member of the community, while the other structures were used for other purposes. The researchers note that the use of non-invasive techniques like ERT is becoming increasingly important in archaeology, as it allows researchers to study sites without damaging or disturbing them. This is particularly important for sites like the Canada Real Dolmen, which are of great historical and cultural significance. The discovery of the other underground structures at the Canada Real Dolmen is a testament to the importance of ongoing research and exploration in the field of archaeology. As new technologies and techniques become available, we are able to uncover new information and gain a better understanding of the past. The Canada Real Dolmen and its surrounding structures are just one example of the rich cultural heritage that can be found all around the world, and we owe it to future generations to do our best to preserve and study these sites for years to come.